Hi, I'm Jeremy Smith, and in this recipe, we're gonna share with you a take on walleye wings and cheeks. It's got a little Asian flair to it, just like you'd have with bone-in or boneless chicken wings. Now, chicken wings were once a discarded piece of chicken meat, and now, of course, people know they are delicious. And I think after this video, you'll think that walleye wings and cheeks are just the same. Let's get started. All right. Before we get started in cooking the walleye cheeks and wings, let me explain to you what they are. The cheeks are, as they would be implied, it's the cheek of the fish, and the wings are actually the pelvic fins on the front of the walleye. So it's this little triangular piece of meat here. I'll show you how we get each one of them out, starting with the cheeks. You can feel with your finger where the bone and the meat is, and we're just gonna take the knife, we're just gonna pop that in, we're gonna follow our way around the edge of where the meat meets the bone and just try to follow that edge nicely around and the meat will start to peel peel away so we'll kind of get in there cut cut and then as you can see we'll just make a cut right down to the skin and then that should just peel right off of the skin like so and we've got ourselves a walleye cheek all right now you can remove the wings of the walleye with your fillet knife i find it handy to use the shears if you've got a kitchen shears that's great i've got one here and all we're going to do is as you can feel again with your with your fingers where that meat is and this is the uh, pectoral fin right here and we're just going to cut right along the edge of that trying not to cut in the meat and then kind of make our way right up to the v up here we do that on both sides and we'll have those wings removed There we go, we've got ourselves a nice little piece of meat there. Got a few more fish to clean, and when we're done, we're gonna have a nice batch of cheeks and wings to kick off the meal, so we'll see you in the kitchen. Okay, to get going on the walleye wings and cheeks, we're gonna get started with the sauce. Again, this is kind of an Asian flavored sauce, so we're gonna begin by adding maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll add in roughly a tablespoon of grated ginger and a tablespoon of, of minced garlic. You don't want this to cook uh, too hot. You don't want to burn the garlic. It'll make it bitter. So we'll just cook this for a couple minutes here until it softens up, stirring pretty regularly. All right, now that this is softened up nicely, we are going to add a few serrano peppers. I love the heat that these add. This is probably a tablespoon and then the other ingredients. All right, we're gonna add these serrano peppers. I'm just gonna cook these for just a minute to add a little flavor to that oil. I love the heat that serranos have. It's not overpowering, but it's got some good pepper flavor. All right, now I've got roughly a tablespoon of soy and a tablespoon of oyster sauce. I'm gonna add this in. There we go. Gonna be stirring regularly with this. From there, I'm gonna add basically the same elements, rice vinegar and mirin, about uh, maybe a tablespoon and a half of each. And the idea with this is I don't want it to be really heavy. There's not a lot of meat on this fish, so you kinda want everything to be nice and light. We're gonna start cooking this down, but before we do that, we're gonna add a couple more ingredients. Brown sugar. Probably another tablespoon and honey. Honey has just such a nice flavor to it. Again, about a tablespoon. Just a few drops of sesame oil. Sesame oil goes a long way. A little bit is awesome, a lot is not good. So just a few drops, maybe like a half a teaspoon, something like that. There we go, now we're just going to reduce this on low heat until we get a nice consistency that would Basically just coat the back of the spoon. While this is reducing, keep in mind you could make more of this. You can make it ahead of time, keep it in a jar and just uh, add it when you're out in the field so you don't have to go through this whole process, get it done at home. Or you could use any of your favorite wing sauces. We're just treating these cheeks and wings like they were chicken wings. So this is looking good. It's thickening up nicely. It's going to stick to the spoon. And that's where we want it. So now I'm just going to remove this from the heat and set it off to the side. All right, now I've switched over to a cast iron pan. I've got about an inch of oil in that pan. I'm going to heat it up to about 350. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, whatever your favorite is, or deep fryer is a great option for this too. 
I've got the wings here. I'm going to just lightly bread these, and this is cornstarch, maybe two thirds of a cup for how much this is, that's seasoned with salt and pepper. So I'll throw all of these into the one gallon bag with cornstarch, shake them around, and then I'll set them on another plate to sit while the oil warms up. Shake well just to get everything coated. So I'm gonna cook the wings and the cheeks in two different batches because they will both take different amounts of time. Get these babies in there, you definitely want that sizzle when the stuff hits the oil. You don't want it to be flat. We're looking for crispy. All right, these are where we want them. So I'm gonna pull these babies out and put them on a rack. All right, now for the cheeks. There we go. Cheeks went really quick. Feel they're nice and crunchy. All right, now that we've got the fish fried, we're gonna come back to the sauce. I'm just gonna warm this up a little bit and we're gonna put the fish in with the sauce. We're gonna to toss it around a little bit and plate. All right, and lastly, we're gonna garnish this. There we go. Now you've got it, walleye wings and cheeks with a little Asian flair to it. I can promise you, you won't be throwing cheeks and wings away after you've had something like this. It's awesome. Hmm.